Was it was it hard to trust it right away, or like how, uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, I think that's a normal, pretty normal thing coming off an injury like this. Uh, it was definitely hard to trust it at first, but I think with how the coaches have uh, made the schedule and everything, it was easy to, you know, kind of we doing a lot of walkthroughs. It was easy to ease into it, um, start trusting it, build trust with my knee, with my body, with everything. Honestly, my brain. Um, just knowing the playbook and things like that, but I'm feeling good. Can you take us back to that day? Like, what what was that like? Did you know right away? Like, this is, uh, this is bad? no, not really, because I'd never done it before. So I mean, I knew something was wrong, but I walked off the field and everything. I felt okay. I was hoping there was that small chance maybe I didn't do anything, but you know, sure enough, I did. And um, it was a challenge. I mean, I haven't not played football since I was seven years old um, for a whole year. But uh, you know, I think in a little. A little bit it was good for me you know try to get my my mind right my body right appreciate the game again and come back and kill it this year can you just talk a little bit about how you just you know kept your sanity in that time coming, <laughs> coming back i mean it's definitely hard um i would say biggest support system was my family um friends you know fortunately i was able to go home you know on the weekends and able to get that support from them or my parents would come out or my friends and family would come out so that's kind of how I kept my sanity. Other than that, I, I watched a lot of sports. Um, I really like sports now because I watched a bunch of it. So whether it was football, whether it was, I've been watching hockey, baseball, all of it. So <laughs> it's fun. So you mixing in with the first team offense. How are you feeling like you're just fitting into this new scheme? Uh, I think the new scheme is great. I mean, there's we're going to throw the ball quite a bit. So that's exciting for me. Um, and mixing in with the first teammate, I'm used to that. I've done that before, so I'm not. I'm not a stranger to that. Yes? You got a question? No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice just, to meet you. <laughs> you said obviously watch the sports to kill time, but like how tough was it to not be, you know, to watch certain guys thrive? And I know they're your teammates, but also you guys yeah. are competing too. So. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough, but at, at that point, I just got to make amends. I'm, I'm injured and I want the best for my team, my teammates. I mean, I always do, even if I'm healthy and on the field. So, um, of course, KJ had a great year. He he balled out, did what he needed to do. That's what, you, that's what this league's about. Coach was just telling us, Coach McArdle, he said, you know, one guy goes down, you know, you got to step up, be ready, or they'll go find someone else. And that's exactly what KJ did. That's exactly what all the guys did under him. Mir, all the so. Mm -hmm. What have been your thoughts just on the new coaching staff and other guys have talked about just kind of that idea of a fresh start and having energy kind of around the building? Yeah, I think uh, the energy is incredible around the building. Um, I think KO is um, really has the whole team bought in, the whole the whole organization. Um, you know, this whole building is, is excited for the fresh start. Um, I think it'll be really good for us. But I mean, a lot of people talk about Oh, that first year new coach, everything you're gonna go down. I don't, I don't see it happening because I, I see a lot of guys bought in. I see a great offensive scheme. I, it sounds like we have a great defensive scheme. So um, we're bringing a lot of vets in and a lot of good players. So I, I think we have a great chance at um, accomplishing what we want to this next year. Well, and how much does it help to you that, especially on offense, like there is a lot of carryover. It's not yeah. like a rebuild as far as the roster goes. Yeah, obviously, like you said, it, it's a lot of carryover, which is good. We got a lot of seasoned vets and then we got a lot of young guys who are really smart who are able to come into this confusing offense and take advantage of it what's the biggest thing you learned about yourself last year like having to deal with this i know you said you haven't played since you're seven um, not played since you're seven years old yeah um i mean i've talked about it a lot i think my appreciation for football grew a lot not being able to play football for a year um you know i think you get into the what can i say uh you kind of get stagnant, you know, you're doing the, going through the same motions, you're coming to work every day, you've been practicing every Monday through Friday, you're, the last three years I've been in the league. So, you know, as, as much as I still loved it, it I, I, I probably lost it a little. And then I sit out a year and I'm like, damn, I really, I really miss this. I really miss football, being out there on the field with my teammates, making plays, scoring touchdowns. I mean, that's what it's all about, you know, having fun. And it's not fun to sit on the sideline injured. So that's what I learned about myself. I feel like we talk about it a lot, but like being patient through the process too, is that hard? Knowing like maybe there were some days you felt like you could go a little harder? Or yeah, you know, of course there's that. And then I guess being patient with the, the injury process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I sat around rehabbing and everything for the last nine months. It was nine months a few days ago. Um, and you get to eight months and you come back here and you're ready to go to OTAs and you're not feeling exactly like yourself, but you're like, I've been out eight months. I haven't done a damn thing. Why do I not feel like myself? 
but then you have to they say nine months but I mean shoot you got guys in the NBA waiting two years to play right. it, it's just it, everybody's different but it's also a process so you have to just be patient with it and I think um, with my support system my family friends counselors all that it's it's really helped me understand that because I, I was getting real anxious after that eight months being here and I was like wow I don't feel my, like myself What's some what's some of the sports that you said into hockey? Were you yeah, never into hockey before. Never then? never into hockey before, but now that I'm from Colorado, now the Avs are doing good, oh, so I'm full go. game on that. I mean, the Wild were in it. I was full game on them. I, I've never watched hockey in my life really like that, but I've been. I went to like three games this past off season, and I guess I'm an NHL fan now. I guess so. Wild games. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't make it to a Wild okay. game unfortunately, but I was watching them. I was watching them on TV. Yeah. Cool. I think you're in the right cool. spot. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely.